Hello, hello, it is Foundation Friday, September 21st, 2018. Steve Cypress editing, e exiting the Costco parking lot where my beautiful wife Michelle and I, there's my beautiful wife Michelle and I, just came from our eye doctor appointment and ordered our new glasses, of which I am getting the Shaquille O'Neal glasses. How cool is that? No one is going to mess with me, and I'm going to slam dunk on everybody, and how awesome is that? But actually, i got to hand it to him. I was just looking for the plainest glasses in the world, just like these, just plain old glasses. They happen to be Shaquille O'Neal, so I love his taste. Keep it simple. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, you ever been to an eye doctor? If you haven't, I'll let you know. I'll give you a hint. First thing he says... Now, this is a new eye doctor. The last time I went to one was in the Costco, but it was back up when we lived in Illinois over three years ago, or almost three years ago. So, uh, hadn't met him before. And the first thing he says to me, well, I think he says, you know, sit there. But then he said, yeah, that's what he said. First thing he said was, sit down here and we'll put you to work. And I was like, exactly. The eye doctor has like the greatest, the easiest job in the world. He, all of his patients do all the work which I never appreciate with the eye doctor. And I always say like, man, I feel all the pressure because if I get one wrong, I'm gonna get the wrong prescription glasses. Because if you ever been to an eye doctor, here's how it works. They put some contraption in front of your face and put some letters up on the wall. And then they simply fuzz out, like they fuzz one out and they put another one up and he just keeps saying which one is clearer. A or B, A or B, A or B, one or two, left or right, left or right, one, two. It's all A, B split testing. And that is the foundational Friday tip of the day. The key to marketing success is the split test. Take action, do something. See, like he said, sit down in the chair and get to work. Most business owners that I know, one of the biggest mistakes you make is you ask everybody what do they think, which you almost in doubt, undoubtedly ask the wrong people what do they think. You ask your friends or your employees, somebody who's not the person you're trying to attract. You don't ask your ideal target who. The, the way to do that is to put it in front of them, to place the ad, to send out the email, to put out the social media message, to put up the blog post, whatever you're doing, to, to record a video like this and test. And let's see. If I hear back from people, hey, Steve, that was a great tip. I wish, I hope you do more of those, which I do hear all the time. Love your videos. Keep it up. What if I heard from people, hey, hate your videos. They suck. I never learn a thing. Or they're too advanced. Or they're too simple. Or they're too something. Well, that, that would mean I get to adjust. So take it from the eye doctor. A or B. A or B. One or two. Left or right. And one or two. And then when I say two, he says, well, two or three. Like, see, it's always a split test. It's always one or the other with a slight difference. And sometimes I couldn't tell, and he puts it back and forth. I'll put it again, A or B, left or right. I'll do it again. But And sometimes, actually, it was both of the same. And that's when he knew. That's when he switched to something else. So I know that that's when he knew that's the prescription. That's the depth part of it, or that's the up-close part of it. Or that's uh, We're done with that. We go on to the next thing. So I'm the one doing the work when I go to the eye doctor. Let your marketing do the work by putting it in front of your target who and see do they choose with two slightly different versions. If you've got 10,000 people on your email list, to 5,000 people you send out one subject line, to 5,000 people send out another. See where you get more opens or even more advanced, forget the open rate, see where you get more money more responses from the better quality people. There's all different ways to track the testing. The key is to get a test. So you don't just say, you know, I'll just send out one email to all 10,000 people. Send out one to 2,500, one to another 2,500, one to another 2,500, one to another 2,500. A, B, C, D. See if people like questions better. Do they like curiosity better? You see, like I put a headline on each of my videos. So this one is a curiosity headline on this one. I said something like, here's the, the key marketing tip you can learn from an eye doctor. Well, you have to press play on the video or read the transcription to see 
what key tip? What is it? It's a curiosity-based headline. If that doesn't get a lot of response, maybe I'll put a different headline next time on a similar teaching video, and I say, uh, here are the three keys to something. Maybe people like numbered lists. Maybe my audience likes numbered lists better than the curiosity approach. Maybe they like the number one key to something instead of here are the top ten ways to do something because they're, maybe they're in a more of a rush or they want it simpler. Maybe they would make it and want it more complex. Certain audiences say I would prefer the five top things to do instead of just the one. Give me, all, give me five things to do, Steve. So you can only learn this or you can learn it best by testing. That's what the eye doctor does. Every single patient, he puts them to work. Put your marketing to work, put your audience to work. Let them tell you what works best. Then you can do more of that and less of what doesn't work. That's the foundational Friday tip of the day. Hope you take action on this. My beautiful wife, Michelle, is waving bye-bye. And thanks for being here, and we'll catch you again tomorrow when I share a success story on Success Story Saturday to motivate, inspire you, and instruct you to follow in the footsteps of success to hopefully have massive success of your own. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you tomorrow. Bye-bye.